Hello guys, today let's talk about how to use Vue.js in the newest Laravel 11. So we re-released and updated an older course about Vue, Laravel and Vite for Laravel 11 syntax. And in this video I will show and emphasize the changes that we need to make to the course so you would understand how to use Vue.js in Laravel 11 and what are the differences from Laravel 10 and other versions. In fact, there are just a few things that you need to know. To demonstrate you the changes, I will show you parts of the pull request to the course, which we write in GitHub in Markdown files internally and then publish it on Laravel Daily.com. But GitHub diffs is one of the best ways to showcase before and after. So here you can see the first things, the versions of the plugins. Since Laravel 10, since the release of that course a year ago, Vite was upgraded to version 5 and there's also Laravel Vite plugin version 1 instead of 0.7 as it used to be. In fact, it is bundled already in the new Laravel 11 project. So if we open the documentation page of Laravel about asset bundling with Vite and scroll down to the installation, the main part is this. The default package JSON from Laravel already includes everything you need. So you just need to run npm install for those libraries. And this is the default package JSON of Laravel 11 project. So you have Vite and its plugin. Also, if you worked with Vue.js 3 when it was recently released after version 2, one of the options to install was Vue Next and Vue Loader Next. You don't need to do that anymore. The Vue and Vue Loader will automatically install the latest versions. The next big change is about the routes. So for Vue.js client, you need to have routes API, usually routes API file, which isn't present by default in Laravel 11. To make that present, you need to run PHP Artisan install API, and then routes API is automatically registered in the bootstrap app.php file. You don't need to add that line manually. And in fact, let me show you exactly in one of the projects where I don't have API installed. So in Composer JSON, there's no Laravel Sanctum by default default and in the routes folder there's no routes API and in bootstrap app PHP there's no routes API present but if we run PHP artisan install API it will install Laravel Sanctum and we will get to that in a minute and at the end of running that command it's published API routes file now let's see what we have here a new line of app PHP routes API in composer JSON we have Laravel Sanctum and we have routes API as it used to be with Laravel 10 by default so in other words API is installable in Laravel and Laravel 11 by default assumes that you're working with web project and not API and the final change you need to know related kind of related to Laravel Sanctum or authentication in general in Laravel 10 and before there used to be a file called app HTTP kernel PHP for middlewares and other settings and there was a middleware called ensure frontend requests are stateful. So this is the Laravel 10 app HTTP kernel and I'm talking about this one and you needed to uncomment that to make the API authentication with Sanctum work properly. In Laravel 11 the approach is different not to uncomment something but to add something and again we're talking about the file bootstrap app PHP which kind of became the global config in Laravel 11. So if we open that file, we need to add a middleware here, middleware stateful API like this. So yeah, these are the main changes you need to know about working with APIs with Vue.js in Laravel 11. Maybe I missed something then, add that to comments and let's discuss. And if you haven't worked with Vue.js in Laravel and Vite, the new updated course is available for you. I will link that in the description below. It's a text-based course available for premium members, 27 lessons with more than 20,000 words, creating the API resources in Laravel as well, view routing, full CRUD, including file uploads, suite alert notifications, and then at the end we're talking about roles and permissions in Vue.js and Laravel. And we will keep updating the courses on Laravel Daily.com. One of my missions for 2024 is for you guys to visit Laravel Daily.com and be sure that we're always on the latest versions of all the tools, frameworks, and packages. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.